Okay, we have a 879-4 uh, Hernay's 8-day cuckoo clock here. Um, this is all wood, all the carvings, everything's wooden here. It's 18 inches tall, not including the weights, up to the top of the owls. The widest point here would be um, 12 and almost 3 quarters, not quite, 12 and 5 eighths, you could say. And the deepest point would be up here at the owls at um, about 7, 7 and a quarter. Um, this is the sound. You know, wooden cuckoo, wooden dial, wooden hands. Um, one nice upgrade that they have on these clocks is the um, regulating nut on the pendulum here. It's a nice upgrade compared to the friction type. Um, you have your minus here and a plus on the pendulum. Um, that's the direction to regulate and to accurize your clock, you know. And you can make, it makes it easier because um, two millimeters is about five minutes a day. And um, so you can tell when you get very close, you know, if the clock is off still a minute. I mean, you're mo moving this, um, you know, 32nd of an inch or less. This is the type of pendulum that you normally get on most clocks. It's friction type. You slide it up the uh, stick here. And it, it makes it difficult to move minute little amounts. And that's what you'll need to do if you want to get your clock really accurate, is minute little amounts. So it's a nice pendulum. I wish all the manufacturers would use that. Most do not. Um, it has a silencer lever on the side. You can silence the cuckoo. Just slide it up. It's a manual lever and it makes it silent. You move the lever back down and it will cuckoo. And we'll take a look at the carvings closer here and down to the back of the clock. It's a VDS certified clock, you know, all made in Germany, all mechanical. Okay, people do ask, does it tick? If I'm um, quiet enough, you'll hear it ticking. And these owls are almost three-dimensional. I'll peek around the side here, you can see. So many times the carvings will be just flat, you know, semi-dimensional, maybe cut in half there. So these are quite nice. It gives a lot more depth to it. Same with the bird right here, you know. And we provide a four-year warranty, parts and labor. Thank you very much. ClocksClocks.com Okay, so here's the back of the clock. You hang it from the top here. Like I said before, hang it on a nail, preferably into a stud. It's very important to use a lag screw, a molly screw there. Here's your gong. That gets struck by the hammer here simultaneously when it's cuckooing and uh, some people will disengage it make a little softer sound in here you'll hear what it sounds like without the gong all brass and steel movement all made in the black forest germany um, we're a full service clock shop we do service what we've sold and um, after six to eight years it should be cleaned and oiled take the movement out of the case use a solvent to clean it and get the um, same synthetic oil on there um, can save you a lot of money it's important to keep the receipt in the box because there's a saying in the clock business the clock is never sold it can always come back and a lot of places don't want to bother servicing them so thank you very much clocksclocks.com